So in this video, you're going to learn why Justin didn't always do very well in school. So I had this dream last night, and I'm arguing with my teacher because she's saying 64 divided by 0 is 0. And I said, no, that's absolutely not correct. 64 divided by 0 is 64. And she says, how do you know that? And I said, well, because if you divide by nothing, you have exactly what you had before. So she says, try it on the calculator, and it came out her way. And I said, this is fucking bullshit. Anyway... I wake up this morning, and I said, you know what, let me just try it. So I do it on the calculator, and it just says error, All right? So 64 plus 1 is 65. 64 plus 0 is 64, because if you add nothing, you have what you had. Minus nothing is 64. 64 times 0 is going to give you 0, because 64 0 times is 0, right? And if you divide 64 by nothing, you indeed still have 64, but it says error. <laughs> so I said, all right, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, maybe I should try another calculator. That'll certainly fix it. So I come back over here and I get out another calculator app. 64 divided by zero equals, oh, I must've added there and then, yeah. 64 minus an addition, it's all zero, or if you multiply, but then divide, and you get, cannot divide by zero, with an E, this app must have been made in China, uh, I thought I was supposed to be good at math, well, I plot this one, where you can draw 64 over zero, it wants to do something, I can't do it, it's ridiculous. Maybe if I do the little division sign divided by, that's not going to do anything. But here, let's just try it. Yeah, it doesn't want to do it. Okay, so next, what we do is let's just search it on, just seeing how I got here, on Bing. So I come back over here. And why 64? I'm just using the number, okay? 64 divided by 0 is undefined. What? Math. Math is fun.com numbers. All right, so I go here. Don't divide by zero or this could happen. Black hole. Just kidding. In truth, dividing by zero is undefined. Why? What, what do you, what? To see why, let us look at what is meant by division. Division is splitting into equal parts or groups is the result of fair sharing. All right. Fair enough. There are 12 chocolates and three friends want to share them. How do we divide the chocolates? 12 divided by three, four chocolates each. Okay, dividing by zero. Now let us try dividing the 12 chocolates among zero people. How much does each person get? Does that question even make sense? No, of course it doesn't. We can't share among zero people and we can't divide by zero. That doesn't mean that we don't still have 12 chocolates, you idiot. <sighs> Another good reason. This should be good. After dividing, can we multiply to get back again? 12 Divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So that just means your rule is wrong. 12 divided by 0 is 12. Times 0 is 0. But multiplying by 0 gives 0. So that doesn't work. Well, then obviously your rule is wrong. Because, it, I mean, once again, dividing by 0 gives us difficulty. No, it really doesn't. It doesn't give us any difficulties. Imagine we could divide by 0. Okay, let's imagine. Like John Lennon, we can... Divide by zero and see what happens. That means that things like one over zero and zero over zero would behave like normal numbers. Why? Does zero behave like a normal number? Try multiplying by zero. Zero is the concept of nothing. What, what, what is difficult about this? So let's try using our numbers. For example, we know that zero times any number is zero. Example, zero times one equals zero. Yes. Zero times two equals zero. Yes. Okay. We're, we're getting somewhere. So that should also be true for one over zero. Zero times parentheses one over zero, so that's zero times zero equals zero. Okay, we're cooking. But could we also rearrange it a little like this? Zero times one over zero, so zero times zero equals zero, equals zero times one, which is zero, equals one. No, it absolutely doesn't. Zero equals zero times one is zero. Careful, I am not saying this is correct. Well, thank God, because it's definitely not. We are assuming that we can divide by zero, so zero over zero should work the same as five over five, which is one. Why should it? No, it shouldn't. Five over five is one, zero over zero is zero. I, R. 
If we multiply 1 over 0 by 0, we could get 0 or 1. No, we really can't. We can only get 0. In fact, we can't have both possibilities, so we, can, so we cannot define 1 over 0 to be a number, so it is undefined. No, it is definitively 0. So what is 0 over 0? It's, again, 0. 0 over 0 is like asking how many zeros in 0. There are exactly 0 zeros in 0. Are there no zeros in 0 at all? Yes. <laughs> or perhaps there is exactly one zero in zero. Or many zeros? No, not many. And not one. There are zero zeros in zero. So zero over zero is indeterminate. It could be any value. No, it really can't. It can only be zero. Oh, my God. In conclusion, when we try to divide by zero, things stop making sense. No, you're not making sense. That is all. <laughs> I mean... Why can we accept that, like, the functionality of, like, 64 zero times is zero, but we can't accept that we're not d dividing by anything, you know? So, well, no, I'm going to come back here for a second, but wait, there's a special method where we get closer and closer to zero. Just read limits and introduction to find it. No, I'm really not going to do that because it's going to be the same. I mean, this is a classic example of just outthinking yourself, right? I mean, if it doesn't work by our rules, I mean, they do the same thing with quantum physics. They do, they do it with everything, right? But this is why I didn't do very well in school sometimes because I couldn't argue this stupidity. Like, you tell me I'm wrong because apparently I am. All the best mathematicians in the world and they can't figure this out. JK all day.